And here we have a smart dress right here with the lights. And uh, hello, so who are you? Hi, my name is uh, Dr. Jesse Jor. I'm an assistant professor in the College of Textiles at North Carolina State University. So at the North Carolina State University, you have students working on this? Yeah, so we have uh, students that are designers of textiles, and then we also have textile engineers. Um, and we have a very multidisciplinary culture there where we integrate a lot of those people together to make new concepts and wearables. So what is the concept of this one? So what we wanted to do here was demonstrate how you could use how you could visualize biometrics. Um, and really this was designed for educational purposes, where a student, when they see this, they say, why are those lights blinking? And those lights and blinking on the dress are actually due to the heartbeat of the person that's wearing it. Obviously not the mannequin in this case, but when this, when this, is, a, when this is actually worn by a person, electrodes that go up against the body like this, they are tracking the electrocardiogram, uh, and then that gets pushed out into the lights on the dress. And so that enables a conversation between me and then students that, that come in and learn about the technology that we make. And this one is a, um, this one is a working prototype? Yeah, so this is an actual working prototype. Well, yes, this is a working prototype of how we design our garments uh, for our three electrode electrocardiogram signals. Uh, and we are currently testing this out within a center that we have at NC State called ASSIST, which stands for Advanced Self-Powered Systems of, of Integrated Sensors and Technologies. So um, this is a potentially a huge future, right? Uh, smart textile, e-textiles, uh, this is what it is. This I would is like to think so. It. It's actually, uh, everybody wears textiles, and so that's a, it's a common platform for everyone. But there's challenges with manufacturing, especially at high scales, and that's some of the research that we do at NC State. So how do you make uh, some concepts like this into something that can be mass produced, mass so manufactured? What you have to do is you have to look at techniques that are currently used within the textiles industry. Uh, so what we're using right here is the type of same type of material that you would end up having in a in like a logo. So it's a polyurethane material with our electronics embedded into the polyurethane, and that has a and that. Um, and you can actually heat laminate that onto the textile. And that's actually what happens when you're in a textile uh, shirt manufacturing facility. The last step in the process before it goes into a bag and then goes to the store is that you actually heat laminate that, that logo onto or tag onto a shirt. So it's kind of like uh, printing a, sh a logo. That's exactly right. It's just and like printing a logo. So it doesn't need to be so complicated, so expensive. It really doesn't. In fact, we try to design our systems to be less than a dollar add-on to an existing garment. And people will spend two hundred dollars on on shirts sometimes, you know. Uh, they will, but there's not that many people. There's more people in the world than that don't spend two hundred dollars than will spend two hundred dollars on a shirt. Nineteen, twenty, uh, let's say uh, twenty-nine dollar, forty-nine. It's, it's normal. I think the real price point is about a hundred U.S. dollars uh, to make it really marketable uh, for mass for mass populations. But if it costs only one dollar to add. Then it should be in everything. Well, there's also the there's also the services that go along with that. Uh, so, for example, you have the data management, you have the electronic boards that go along with the go along with the garments and whatnot. And so, is this conference good uh, for you to get connections with all the industry in, in this? Specific? There's a huge number of suppliers that are here uh, for a lot of the components that we put into our our garments. Um, and there's also really good examples of how the. Um, of, of how the industry is evolving very quickly. If you look at this place about two years ago, it was it was a quarter of the size of what it is right now. It's really exciting to see the growth. Were you here two years ago? I've been here uh, every year for the past, uh, let's say, four or five years. So ID Tech X is cool. It's a very nice conference. Uh, so let's let's get this into mass production, right? Let's get this into hundreds of millions of devices and uh, this is uh, yeah go tell students. my investors <laughs> tell your investors can do that right yeah, exactly. so how do you get those investors that's the next trick maybe they come by a booth and they see this and they think it's cool and they say let's go well it's, it develops a relationship you have to prove out the efficacy of what you're developing uh, you have to identify the right market for exactly where this could be where this could enter in so there's a lot of factors that you have to consider before you actually go talk to investors so you don't sound like an idiot